Hey beautiful divas, this is Anna coming to you with a really quick video. Um, I wanted to show this as I had them out. Yes, my previous video mess, yeah, it's still, sit still sitting there. But I was watching Leanne, lovely scrapping. She is such an awesome chick. I love her to death. She did a tutorial on some sprays and I really like her version of how she did them. So, um, and her tutorial is super fabulous. Her information is going to be below this video, so you can see, or actually I should say that way, um, so that you can see, for those of you who are not subbed to her, you totally should be subbed to her. She is a super fabulous crafter. So, um, let's get into this, okay? And, okay, I used a 26 gauge. Is that that? Yeah. It's a 26 gauge at Michael's. Those are only like $2. So this is so much cheaper doing it this way than um, buying them. Now with these sprays, these are perfect because if you happen to have some flowers and, you know, maybe not this big ginormous one that I have right here, but the pretty papered ones from I Am Roses or Wild Orchids or whatever, you can just sporadically place them on top, you know, and just layer stuff on top of them. So that's what I love about them. So this is a brown one that has different, um, different shades of brown. Okay. This one is a pink one. I heart this one. And this is using those pretty pink beads that I um, did on my stick pins that you can get from Walmart. And these are flowers. So how perfect is that, right? And just sporadic beads all in the pink family. Okay. And these are so easy. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go do some more right now. I figure I'm just going to do them in solid colors so if I come up upon a project, I'll already have it done. Here's a blue one. Look at that one right there super gorgeous look at that love it and when you do them you know if this you put all the backings you twist them all so that it's on this side and that's what I love about this because you know when you originally do it some of these may be that way and I got to do is just twist it back put all of the work of the wrapping of that bead in the back and then in front it's all just a really beautiful clean slate and this is just a beautiful um, Swarovski crystal and it's a square one super fab. Okay, different shades of blue. These are my favorite ones coming up. <laughs> Look at that ladies, super fab. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> These are purple. I love all colors. I do have my favorites, but I love purple. A lot of people are not a purple fan. Poor purple. Doesn't get much love. So here's um, a purple flower. I've had these beads forever in my stash and then I just put um, a little crystal in the middle of it here and here and some pearls and another bead that I had so you see you see the work is done in the back who's gonna see that nobody so here's a purple and this is the best one ladies drum roll please here we go BAM tell me that's not gorgeous <laughs> so this is in the white and cream family. I know you guys are eyeballing this one right here. <laughs> so I had some more of these flowered beads right here. And these are um, abalone, or not abalone, it's a pearl um, flower. So you're not going to see it, but you can see all the different shades of the pearl, like you would on a regular pearl. So, um, and I just put um, crystals in the middle. These are some really pretty beads that I got at Joann's, and it was just in a mixture of a bunch of different beads. This right here, stinking ridiculous. I got it at Joann's also. These are the acrylic ones that I was telling you ladies about that I did stick pins out of. And I layered one. I'm not going to put it too close because last time I did them close and you, you could see it better if I keep it a little farther. So I layered this one on top of this one and I just put a pearl in the middle. Okay. These are so easy ladies. Seriously. How fun is this to make your own sprays? And I'm going to make some more of these using some of these because I have some really big ones that I want to use. And they're just beautiful. Can you imagine just laying your little pretty, you know, flowers in the middle that you have, your mulberry flowers. Just love it. Thank you so much, Leanne, for showing such an awesome tutorial.
So this is my sprays. I just wanted to show you ladies what I was working on. I'm about to go into my living room, catch up on my Vampire Diaries, and make some more. All right, ladies, you guys have a fab day, and I'm looking forward to watching your videos, and I will be back again. All right, ladies, bye.